Hey there, welcome back. Houston Math Prep here. Today we're going to start talking about measures of center. So a measure of center is a value that summarizes what we would call a typical or a central entry of a particular data set. We can find these measures of center whether we have a population data set or a sample data set. So we have three main measures of center, the mean, the median, and the mode. So let's check out each one of those. The mean is an average. So when we take an average, that means that we sum up, sigma notation means to sum or add up all the individual data values, and then we divide by how many data values we have, usually denoted by n. Now if we're doing that for a population, then we call this mean or this average mu. So we use the Greek letter mu, kind of looks like a curly M or curly U, and that is our notation for a population mean. If we are finding the mean for a sample, then we use the notation X bar. So it's a lowercase x with a horizontal line on top of it. So the calculation is the same, whether we're doing population mean or sample mean, but the notation changes just a bit. Now the next measure of center that we can encounter is the median. The median is the middle value. When data is ordered. So what that means, oops, What that means is if we take our values and we place them in order from least to greatest, then the value in the middle, the direct center, would be our median. If we have an even number of data points, let's say we have four data points. Okay, let's even say we have the data points one, two, three, four. Then we notice if we were to count in from the center, so there's one on either side, two on either side, there is not actually a middle data point. When that happens, we take the average of the two central data points. So in this sample, one, two, three, four, the median would be two plus three divided by two, or 2.5. All right, and our last measure of center is the mode. Mode is the data value, or technically could be values, that occur most often. So simply put, we look at our data. If there is one or a few data values that occur the most frequently, then that is the mode. It is possible also to not have a mode. If all data values occur an equal number of times, then we would have no mode. All right, so there's our quick intro into measures of center. In the next videos, we'll jump into looking at some data sets and actually calculating these. Until then, catch you in the next one.